I speak unto thee and I say that my own people are meant to cry out unto me. That is, my people are meant to cry out unto me, to call upon me, to believe in me, and trust me, for I am well able. And I say that my people are not meant to lose their confidence in me, but I say that it is me they are meant to hope in day after day. For I say when my people will face the weariness, the dreariness, the dreadful state of things as they are, I say they are meant to pray, to cry out unto me. Now I say you are not meant to be giving up in frustration and despair because of the times that ye are in. But I say you are meant to know, understand, and realize that it is me, the living God, who does hear you when you pray. That is, when you will keep yourselves in repentance, revolution before me, and subjectivity unto me, then I say that I will hear thee when you cry. That is, when you call upon me, when you pray unto me, that it is me, the living God, who will respond. But I say, when a people will grow prayerless, they will grow hopeless, and I say they will either end in despair or throw themselves into the world. And I say it is because they themselves have stopped hoping in me, believing in me, and trusting in me. Now I say you are not meant to grow weary and well-doing, but I say you are meant to continue each day. That is, ever trusting and believing and hoping in me, the author and the finisher of thy faith. Now I say that you should not ever cease to be praying, to be crying out, to be calling upon me, for I am thy God. And I say you are not meant to be full of the darkness, the evil, the fear that rules these times, but I say you are meant to be full of confidence in me. And I say if you find yourself growing weak, growing weary, growing dreary along the way, I say repent of the same. Then I say, call upon me, cry out unto me, I say, pray without ceasing. For I say, you are meant to know what it is to be kept, because you are looking unto me, believing in me, and trusting me day by day. Now I say, it is a privilege to keep on in the way that I offer, in the way that I provide. And I say, it is a privilege to keep on believing, and likewise receiving, because it is me, the living God, you are meant to serve. That is, you are meant to be in continual repentance with me and continual faithfulness unto me and crying out unto me. That is, you are meant to put your seal into your prayers when you call upon me. I say you are not meant to be so overwhelmed with the circumstance, with the situation, or even with the condition of the nation that you give up upon me. That is, because the times are fearful, they are dreadful, they are full of all manner of violence, evil, and wickedness, but of course they have always been so. And I say, when men will cry out unto me, believe in me, and trust me, then I say that they will be guided for. But I say that the ones who give up because they look at the signs of the times rather than looking to me, I say they will end in a heap. Now I say this day, if you find yourself frustrated, it is the time to repent and to pray unto me. That is, to pour yourself out at my feet, to give yourself over unto me, and be ever thankful unto me. For I say you are living in times when men and women have grown virtually prayerless, that is, they do not even know how to pray. And I say that they do not exercise themselves in fastings and prayers before me, but I say they only seek to be entertained. And I say they are lifeless according to the mind of my spirit. I say they are dull and dumb and found stupid before me. And I say it is because they have stopped praying and seeking my face, my counsel, but I say they have simply gone in their own way. And I say that the way that they've chosen is the way of darkness and evil and iniquity, and the same is far from me. And I say when men are choosing to be losing, then I say they give up in prayers before me. That is, they no longer take the time to seek my face, to seek my counsel and desire of me. Now I say it is me, the living God, who will give to the ones who will serve me the way of eternal life, the way of my mercy and my truth. And I say, when a people will keep on trusting, believing, and hoping in me, then they are brought forth in my way. And yes, they are given the strength, the light, the truth, the mercy, and the purpose of who I am day by day. For I say, when a people will pray and seek my counsel, when a people will pray and seek my help, when a people will pray and seek my direction, 
Then I say that I, the living God, will be with them. But I say, when a people will grow so cold of heart that they no longer seek me, what do they prove? I say, they prove they would rather live in the calamity, they would rather live in the fear, they would rather live in the dread than live in the peace that comes of me. And I say, they would rather be seeking the arm of flesh and the world's resources than seeking for me. Now I say, when a people will grow so stagnated, so dull, so dumb, that they are merely crying out unto the world, I say their cries will not be answered at all. For I say they will cry and cry and cry virtually unto the wind, and none will hear them when they cry. For I say that I, the living God, will not allow the, the world to be their help, but I say that the same will become a curse unto them. And I say it is because they have turned to the world rather than me. Now I say this day that I, a living God, do not call thee to look to the world in the vanity of the same, but I say that I call thee to look unto me. And I say that I call thee to be thankful each and every day, that you can be dependent, reliant upon me time and again. That is, that you can be coming forth, may glad for the privilege to believe, receive, and be ever guided by me. For I say, if it is me that you will be looking unto in faith, in trust, in confidence, then you will find that I bring me forth. And yes, you are given the blessedness of who I am, for it is me, the living God, who gives to thee the same. Now I say, this day there are multiplied sorrows that men will face in this life when they grow cold towards me. For I say they will find they have no zeal to pray, they have no desire to seek me, and I say it is because they have allowed themselves to be estranged from me. That is, they've gone a-boring in their minds, in their thoughts, in their actions, and in their deeds, because they are no longer seeking me. And I say they take up the fears of the heathen, they take up the darkness of the same, and I say they are the ones to blame. Now I say this day it is true that you are living in times of darkness and treachery. You are living in times of evil, but I say you are living in times when I, the living God, am calling men to repent. And I say that I'm doing so that men would grab hold of me and remain in my way. That is, that they would be uplifted, brought forth, and ever guided as they will call upon me. That is, as they will humble themselves unto me and pray and pray in my way. Now I say this day that I will have been God to call my people to be a praying people, to be a people who are ever in repentance, revolution before me. That is, not only in repentance for their own sins, but for the sins of those who claim they are mine, yet their hearts are hard and cold before me. And likewise, the ones who truly love me will repent for the sins of the nation, for the sins of the world, for the sins of all who have separated themselves from me. For I say, when my people will intercede, then I say that men are humbled down to pray for themselves. That is, by the intercessory prayer that goes before the hard hearts, I say there are some whose hearts will be melted by the same. Therefore I say, do not give up on prayer, do not give up on me. But I say, continue as a steadfast people, ever crying out and believing and trusting in me. For I say, when you will indeed be praying, then things are changing from the same. Now I say, this day you are not meant to feed upon those things that only give you fear and dread and leave you hopeless in it all. That is, only eating of those things that are so dreary and weary, and not eating of me. For I say, when you do not partake of what it is that I give, what it is that I offer, what it is that I desire to do for thee, then I say you will end in futility and despair. But I say, when you will indeed be close to me through repentance, revolution, and complete daily prayer before me, then I say you will find my strength is given unto thee. Now I say there are many who fail to keep following me, and I say it is because of circumstance. That is, they grow so fearful that they lose their faith, their trust in me. And I say, even though they may have great knowledge, what does it do for them? I say nothing at all if they do not keep their confidence in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do desire you to look to me, to believe in me, and trust always in me. 
and I say that I desire that you would keep your focus single that is upon me day by day. For I say you are meant to keep directed, instructed, and corrected each day by me, the author and the finisher of thy faith. And I say you are not meant to grow dull and prayerless and fearful and faithless because of the times that ye are in. For I say that the truth of it is that the man who prays stays close to me. But I say when a man will give up praying and seeking me, I say that he will allow the enemy to come in like a flood. And I say that he will allow the enemy to dry him up, to make him dull and dumb and stupefied by the things that are upon the horizon. I say that I, the living God, do not want you to be hopeless and helpless, but I say that I want you to keep on believing and trusting in me. And I say that I want you to be thankful that it is me that you can follow after, seek to please and obey. Now I say this day count a privilege to look unto me, to believe in me, and know that I guide thee forth. For I say if you will indeed be accepting of the way that I give, then you are ever directed by me. And yes, you are given the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope each and every day. For it is me, the living God, who will direct thee in my way. And I say, when you trust me and believe me and pray always unto me, then you will see that I, the living God, am present with thee. And I say, you will not be filled with fear, doubt, and unbelief because of the times that ye are in. But I say that you will be filled with faith and confidence and hope in me. For I say, it is me you are meant to hope in. It is me you are meant to look to and believe. I say that I, the living God, am calling for men to repent, and I say if they truly will repent, then it is me, the living God, who will repent of the evil that I have in store. That is, I will withdraw the hand of my wrath, and I say that I will show mercy. But I say if men will grow hopeless because of the times throw up their arms in despair and cast themselves down, I say they will end in a heap because of their choice. That is, to wallow in unbelief and self-pity and fear and doubt and accusation against me. Now I say this day do not accuse me, but I say cry out unto me and repent for any thoughts you have had against me. And I say cry out all the more in your prayers, your supplications, your trust in me, for I am indeed well able. And I say, be thankful that I, the living God, will continue to direct, correct, and guide thee forth, for yes, indeed, you are mine. And I say that I will give to thee multiplied mercies time and again, because you are believing, hoping, and trusting in me. Now I say, this day, count the privilege to receive, count the privilege to come forth, and be guided by me. That is, in the way of my truth, my light, my strength, my mercy, as you continue seeking my face, my counsel, continue in repentance, revolution, the humility way of life that I have for my own. As for you, son of man, your people who talk together about you by the walls and at the doors of the houses, say to one another, each to his brother, come and hear what the word is that comes from the Lord. And they come to you as people come, and they sit before you as my people. And they hear what you say, but they will not do it. For with lustful talk in their mouths they act. Their heart is set on their gain. And behold, you are to them like one who sings lustful songs with a beautiful voice, and plays well on an instrument. For they hear what you say, but they will not do it. When this comes, and come it will, then they will know that a prophet has been among them. Cry aloud, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Declare to my people their transgression, the house of Jacob their sin. The times of ignorance God overlooked. But now he commands all people everywhere to repent.